When you're on a keto diet, they tell you to eat meat, eggs, dairy, nuts, avocado, and I'm vegan. So basically, <laughs> I cannot eat meat, eggs, dairy. So basically, the, the majority of the foods on a keto diet for a vegan is like off bounds. Like it's not possible. That's why this day is like super interesting. But that's what people think that there's not much to eat. But look what I made. Hey you, today I'm trying the keto diet. Why you ask? Well, because I like to torture myself. <laughs> and you clicked on this because you want to watch me torture myself. See this? The reason why I'm doing this is because, look, first of all, I don't promote keto. I don't promote any kind of diet. I'm, I'm vegan, okay? Now you're gonna say like, wait, that's a diet too. No, for me, it's not a diet. Diet is a lifestyle. Veganism for me is about the planet, the animals, blah, blah, another video, another, another time. I know that it's the new year and a lot of people are going to start trying a new diet or trying to lose that weight, which I don't promote on this channel again. <laughs> so, I mean, it's totally up to you, your life, but I don't do, I don't, I'm not trying to lose my weight. I'm not trying to gain any weight, whatever. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious what, what would happen. Will I be able to survive? Because I feel that when you add enough spices and flavor into something, even if it's just a bowl of coconut flour and avocado and cauliflower rice, it's still gonna taste good. And I'm gonna prove my point with this video. I am not a dietitian. I am no one. Please don't take any of this keto talk as like I'm promoting this diet. I am not. If you need to take diet advice, go to a registered dietitian. I am not the one. This video is solely, solely for entertainment purpose. And that's it. Today I'm going to take you through breakfast, lunch and dinner. I have a few ideas for each of these meals. If you followed me on my channel, you know I'm a carb girl. I need my rice, my paranthe with, with flour. You know, I need, I need bread. I need pasta. I need all of these things. <sighs> and fruit. I'm going to have to say goodbye to my apple. It's okay, apple. I will come back to you tomorrow. So I started this day with a cup of coffee because coffee thankfully is vegan. Ugh, so sorry. <laughs> because coffee thankfully is keto. So I had my coffee and then I had a few nuts just as a snack and then I did my workout. And it was a cardio workout. So that was quite a mistake. For breakfast, I wanted to make paranthe because I'm a paratha girl. And for paranthe, I wanted to make the flour, the dough keto so i basically use coconut flour but if you're on keto it's usually advised to use almond flour than uh, coconut flour let's jump right in that was not jumping oh let's jump right in This is the end product of the second one. The first one came out like a bit broken because I was not very careful. The second time was a bit I was a bit more careful. I even oiled the silicon um, sheet. So if you want to try this out, definitely oil the sheet a bit. So now I'm gonna give it a try. I'm so hungry. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 11! Oh. See, this is what happens when I'm filming on a day. Everything's late. Anyway. It's so soft. just disintegrated in my mouth. So I serve it with some chili pepper pickle. I was so hungry. 
It's not bad. The filling is everything. So the coconut flour dough is really really soft, like it doesn't hold together. But it's different. I like it. I served it with the rest of the mixture. I cooked it a bit. And I'm gonna eat this because I'm super hungry. And it's already time for lunch. I'm still hungry because usually I have like some kind of fruit or at least a dessert after my meal. And this was breakfast. Maybe it was a small quantity. Just the tiny quantity didn't satiate me. So I took this, this it's kind of like a rice cake. It's not a rice cake. It's made of um, rye, I think. Popped rye and it's like one of these has like less than one grams of carb. And then I put peanut butter on top and like some stevia drops. So that this feels like a little dessert. We're going grocery shopping. That's a tongue twister. We're, gro we're, go we're going grocery shopping. We're going grocery shopping. We're going grocery shopping. We are going grocery shopping. Look. Isn't this the cutest sock in the world? You know what's the saddest part? I can't even pick up a banana before leaving home. <laughs> Not that I have one, but just saying. Or a bunch of stuff, baby bee. Spinach. That's keto. Purse, also keto. Bell pepper, keto. Cauliflower, very keto. Blueberries, like the one of the few, very few keto fruit, which is actually very good. Some vegan steak, which is surprisingly, I checked on the bag, it's keto. Bell pepper, keto. Avocados. Very keto. No blueberries, but this is this goes in the freezer. So yogurt. Also keto. There's basically zero carbs in it, which is amazing. Some stevia, keto approved sugar. And some more tofu because I can never have enough tofu at home. Yeah, I bought the Starbucks signature chocolate toffee nut. That's not keto, but that's for later. Like not today. Because it's limited edition. And I want to know what all the hype is about. Just a little midday update. It's kind of weird, but I feel super weird in my stomach. Like, I I only ate that paratha and then the peanut butter thing that I had. And what time is it now? It's 2.12 and I'm still not hungry. And neither am I feeling good in my stomach. And also I'm extremely thirsty. So apparently this is normal and that it happens that with ketosis you get a dry mouth because since your body retains water when you when you eat carbs when you stop eating carbs your body re releases the water which is which explains all the pain which makes my body want to drink more water okay I guess this is normal then I don't feel good in my stomach and I know it I should be making lunch
I added some avocado to this to bump up the fat factor and so that's like real keto keto I did use oil so anyway let's see it's actually 3.30 now actually 3.45 and that's when I felt like having lunch now I'm hungry I feel better mmm good it tastes really good mmm 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 nice I didn't think I would enjoy this this much definitely give this a try even if you're not keto wow I can't believe I said that as usual recipe is below I'm gonna finish this now and then I have a meeting so I'm basically having some soy yogurt with some blueberries not a lot because apparently a lot of blueberries is also not is also not keto. So you have to like count your blueberries. So I counted my blueberries, and then it's it's in soy yogurt. Because guess what, the cauliflower stir fry fried rice didn't satiate me enough. Like I still feel like eating something. And this is the only dessert I can eat. I made a beautiful palak paneer and tofu paneer. Ah, damn it. Palak tofu. And then with the leftover dough from the morning for the parathas, I made roti, you could say. I'm gonna eat it with this, with the palak tofu. Mmm. The palak tofu I made is with a recipe on my website and it's with a method it makes the tofu taste very similar to paneer so definitely give it a try I served it with the with a bit of the leftovers from this uh, lunch today and this is going to be my dinner and then after dinner I will get back to you on what I feel like <sighs> okay I'm back with some final thoughts 9.30 now and I am quite ready to call it a day and I'm watching Gilmore Girls, which I just actually recently started. But anyway, that's not the point. So my final thoughts are about keto. It was not the worst. I thought I would, I would not be happy. I would really, really, really suffer. But well, also, I mean, I just did for one day. So maybe I would suffer had it been for let's say one week. So what I would say is that if this video gets like, I don't know, 3000 likes, which I don't know if I've ever had, but that would be a nice challenge to go have. So if this video gets 3000 likes, I might start, I might try, I will, I promise you, I will try the keto diet for one week and then you will see me really suffer because today I saw my pantry with all the rice and the pasta and they were all looking at me like, Anjali, come to me. You know you want me. Take me. Cook me. Come. Just a bite. Just a bite. I didn't even have chocolate. That was so painful. <sighs> anyway, I will be going back to my normal diet tomorrow because just yeah, I I don't yeah. I'm I'm this is this I'm I'm done for the day. But it was really interesting for me to keto-wise all of the recipes that I usually like to eat so I mean this would have been a typical day of my day of eating like with breakfast lunch and dinner where I eat parathas and fried rice and uh, palak tofu with some roti and whatever which would be like a typical day except it was, it was on keto let me know what you thought about this video and why you thought about the recipe that I created did you find them interesting let me know down below and with that, uh, I will take your leave, uh, baby bee. It's time. I'm tired. Tired. I'm tired. I don't feel much except I do miss carbs. And, and I, I miss 
let's say fruit and these kind of things so this is not really a diet for me but if i had to be i know i would not suffer so if you are going on a keto diet you know that you have something to look forward to and that you're not gonna just be eating like i don't know like a plate of steak and with a lot of butter and that's it i wish you a good day good night from wherever you are whenever you're watching this Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye for